Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, welcome. My name is Sierra and my channel is all about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, all the things. As you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I am going to be doing my go-to makeup routine. It's been a while since I've done makeup on this channel. If you guys are new here, that's how my channel started. I'm a retired makeup artist, but your girl still dabbles in makeup, obviously, for me. I was just like, I need to update the girl. How I've been doing my makeup, I always get compliments on it, but yes. So that's what we're doing today. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. And without further ado, let's jump to my video. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've done my makeup on camera. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing, I already moisturize my skin. I use the e.l.f. Cosmetics Cream Moisturizer or something like that. It's really, really good. Next, I am going to be taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. Really, really like this. I also like the Milk Hydro Grip, but I'm running low, so this has been what I've been using lately. Now, I'm gonna go in and kind of set that primer. That's something I've been doing as of late, shout out to Jackie Ina for putting the girls on. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just gonna press that like in the areas where I just want to be a little bit more smooth underneath, on my nose, and like right in my laugh lines as well. Um, for my foundation, I am taking the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is what it looks like. I am using the shade Topaz. No, I'm sorry. I'm using the shade Tahoe. And y'all, this foundation is so good. Like I never would have thought that I would be in love with a medium coverage foundation, but you know, we grow and I'm so obsessed. Like this foundation is really, really good. Medium coverage, natural finish, and it's just beautiful. Like super lightweight. And I actually recommend going in with like a natural finish foundation when you do the powder trick. I've done it with like a matte foundation, but I don't recommend it just because it's like kind of cakey. It's just a lot of product. Get into it, Nars, y'all did that. Y'all did that. And it's funny because I originally had went in to get the all all day luminous foundation I think and they were sold out and I've been I went to a number of them so I don't know if they're discontinuing it or what so I ended up getting this shout out to my sis Casey because she told me about this foundation and I haven't worn nothing since I've bought other foundations that I planned on trying but this is just too good like and look the it's just a great blend it's a great foundation y'all so if you don't have it i highly highly recommend 10 out of 10 recommends for my concealer i am taking the elf camouflage concealer now this concealer is that girl let me tell you seven dollars for this and it is so good thick creamy very very good coverage and i love it i've been using this probably for the last year or so and I'm obsessed. And then I'm gonna take my Benefit Hello Happy Foundation, Cream Stick Foundation, and I'm gonna do a little contour situation. And really, like, I know I said I labeled this as my everyday foundation. I don't wear, I mean, my everyday makeup routine. I don't wear makeup every day mom life half the time i am <laughs> in sweats no makeup however when i do wear makeup this is my go-to i'm gonna let my concealer sit a little bit so i'm gonna take this uh, real techniques i think it's a foundation brush and i'm just going to blend out my contour i kind of do a lot of it together yeah for the sake of letting my concealer dry down a little bit so i am going to use my beauty blender obviously and then i'm just going to blend out that concealer a 
I think highlighting and contouring is like one of my favorite parts of my makeup routine. I don't know, for me, I just watch my face kind of transform and I feel like it also just kind of brings everything together. I am gonna highlight just a little bit more. I'm gonna take Medium Warm, which is from e.l.f. and I'm just going to do a little more highlight. And the trick here is, I'm just gonna do it right there. The trick here is when you're working with like a very light concealer, go in with a little bit of foundation. Learn this from Jackie as well. I promise you, I did this and my makeup, it changed the game. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that foundation. I'm gonna spray a little bit of setting spray. And this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. Yes, Charlotte Tilbury. Best setting spray that you will ever try in your life. If you need your makeup to stay all day, this is the one, this is the girl. I'm just gonna spray that a little bit and then I'm gonna begin to blend out that, um, what's that called? <laughs> that uh, highlight. That way, it gives me a little bit more brightness, but still toned down because as I like blend out, that foundation just kind of helps. I'm just gonna go around the edges, make sure that there's no harsh brightness, you know? And this also helps prevent any flashback. Kind of wanna get down there too. Now before we set, I am going to use this liquid blush from Rare. Beauty, and this is in the shade Happy. Next, I'm gonna set my makeup. I'm gonna take that Laura Mercy A setting powder, press her into my skin. Oh, and I forgot to blend out this um, nose highlight. Silly me. There we go. All right. And I'm gonna take it, especially around my mouth area. And as you can see, I still have that luminous part of my skin. It's not completely matte down. Really, really like that. I'm gonna just take my powder foundation, Studio Fix Foundation powder, and I'm just going to lightly tap that over For my bronzer, I'm gonna take the Fenty Bronzer and Caramel Cutie. And for my blush, I am going to take this Carity Blush Balm, but I'm just gonna add that. Just a soft touch of color. Fix Plus. And let's get into these brows, honey. For my brows, I am going to be taking the, the Benefit Brow Wow Conditioning Primer. Gonna apply it to my brow hairs, and I just do it in an upward motion so I can just see like my shape. And then while that dries, I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby Highlighter. Next, for my brows, I'm gonna take the brow filing pen from Benefit, and I'm just going to begin to draw hair-like hair -like strokes. Girl, I didn't even finish my what I was trying to say.
and then I'm gonna take the Anastasia brow wiz in chocolate and I'm gonna kind of softly fill in any areas that I might need to just lightly very very lightly I like a good fluffy brow comb out any harsh lines then I'm gonna highlight taking that same concealer or clean up the brows I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Patricia Bright palette and I'm just gonna take like a warm brown. And then probably like a little bit of that. And I'm just just for a little definition in my crease. And if you guys want to see more like makeup looks. Just let me know. I know it's been a while, but I would love to bring that aspect back to my channel. Whatever y'all want to see, that's what I'ma do. And then I am gonna add just a little bit of razzle dazzle right in the inner corners. And for my lashes, I'm gonna take the Kiss Jubilee Lash. And then I am going to take the Benefit Bad Gal Mascara. Rarely will you find me in a colored lip. My go-to lip is a nude. So, I first go in with my chestnut cork lip liner. And then I'm gonna take my go-to, my Honey Love. And then on top of that, I'm just gonna take the Very Go Lightly lip glass from MAC Cosmetics. Gorgeous, gorgeous lip gloss. Oh yeah, she's pretty. All right, so I'm about to go get dressed and then I'll be back to show you guys the final look. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section um, some of your favorite makeup products that you guys have been loving because I'm always on the hunt to try new products. I hope you guys love this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, drop some comments below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.